hello friends welcome to expo youtube channel today we'll be learn about how to make user form and how to design the user form as well so first go to developer tab and click on visual basics in case if you don't have the developer, developer tab already then click on file click on options click on customize ribbon click on popular command drop down list and then click on main tabs you will be finding here developer tab and then click on add then click on ok if you don't have it in case you have it then just click on cancel like we have so uh, once after i go on developer tab and clicking over there i'll be able to find visual basics and clicking on that we have to go to insert first then click on user form you will be able to find this user box then the next very step is toolbox click on this toolbox then all these things are by default available here in user form toolbox and we'll be using first labels three labels we'll be going to use in which will be change the name id and gender the second thing is text box we have, i have to mention the name we can also use it for the number figures and the next thing is combo box it also works like the drop down list then i click on this option button drag it over here and use another one you can use any number of these from here depending on the requirements you may have and then click on command button to whom to which after mentioning adding data in these things text box from box option button then i click on add button to have my data added in the excel sheet so friends let's go to view and properties window friends what happens sometimes you just click on the close button in properties and you lost your properties and you are not able quite away how to get it back so just go to view click on properties window and here you will get your properties back then go to label one come back to your properties click on label one caption change it with name and select the next one in with id and the next one in the gender so and then click on the option button one change it with name that's how you can take your user form from beginning and change their name exceptions while selecting the specific label option button so here we'll be going to change the name of command button as well and here i just name it as add and here it i just name it as update uh, let me say just close friends and resize it as well you can open it as well but in case you're wondering about the frame you want to make it more beautiful then let me show you how it looks like this is how it looks like first but let me just do some more work here select all these right click on your computer mouse go to align then click on left this will make the alignment right similarly we can do for these two things as well the text box and the combo box but they are already aligned so no need to use that function again but what we can do is we can use this frame and before that select all this right click cut it and use the frame here and then make it wider just control V and put your data here so click on here in the frame you can change the name of the frame with data you see sorry we have to do it again in the caption I just missed so we change it with the data in the user form one as here as well go to here in the caption and data 
and play. So let me show you here by minimizing and squeeze it more the frame to make it more enticing so you will be able to know that what you are making and click on here run sub play this will show you how your user form has been made until now so we go click on the user form outer area outside the frame then get here on the back color go to palette and here select this color and for this one we can use this color and select these two boxes we can go here to palette and make them bold and you would like to change the color of the font as well so just get down go to four color and click on palette then on the white color you would like to may have and in case for these two as well just go here and use the white one but for the back color you can use the yellow And for the font you may use black color all right friends but we want to make the fonts more bold and bigger in size so I click on bold after going to the font then I click on here this size then okay so you see friends then select this to go to back color let me just do it different way i use them select the first one male and the male have blue color and the font color bold 10 okay then the color of the font should be the white similarly select female go to back color go to palette then click on pink one then go to font click on bold whichever you may like you can just click on this option and then click on ok and let me see if we can do to white color all right friends so let me show you how it look, look like this is how you have make your user form and then you have also designed it in a very very formative colors which we which are quite easy for your working as well all right friends now we have to go back to the sheet and go to insert go to shape why I go to shape or insert here because there are another way as well then go to format click on this downward arrow select this one and then click on text box to click here as a right up here as a form select it go to home increase the size and the alignment as well all right friends now click right click go to assign macro then click on new and here the name of the user form is user form one what you have to do is user form one dot show right somewhere else and then click back here you will find your user form here so that's how you can design your user form and now you can fill your data here and here and here and then click on add afterwards you can enter your data in the Excel sheet but before that you must have passed some codings in your user form so that's the way where you will be able to find mention the coding of your data depending on the requirements you have according to your columns or information so 
friends i hope you have liked this video how to make user form and design it as well please like and share explore youtube channel so i'll be able to bring more videos for